Hey, uh, Phil, thanks for turning us on to this Aurora forum. Um, I went to the website, and the blurb under David Loy, uh, the professor of ethics from Xavier University, struck me as uh, really interesting. Um, some of the titles of the books he's written um, caught my attention. A Buddhist History of the West, The Great Awakening, A Buddhist Social Theory, uh, money, sex, war, karma, notes for a Buddhist revolution. I think I'm gonna have to order a couple of those on Amazon. Um, but he said something that's quoted here in uh, an article he wrote in 97 called The Religion of the Market, where he described uh, consumer capitalism as the first truly world religion, binding all corners of the globe more and more tightly into a worldview and set of values whose religious role we overlook only because we insist upon seeing them as secular. And uh, I think that's exactly right. Um, you know, we think that we in the modern Western developed world now live in a um, an age free of, of ideological dogmas and religious or metaphysical beliefs and mythologies when really um, the economic system of uh, consumerism we live under is as much um, a mythological structure as, as any other and it's an especially destructive kind of mythology because it alienates us from nature and from each other and um, pits us all as individuals against one another in a market where um, the only force uh, which is ruling is basically the survival of the fittest. Um, it's, uh, you know, corporations are legally required to try to put their competitors out of business, and um, it's a real cutthroat world out there, and um, the underlying motivation under all of it is this false desire for material products, which are, you know, for the most part, bought and sold because of an image that's manufactured by advertising. Um, I mean, many of the products that are bought and sold in the marketplace today are um, worthless. I mean, they don't, they don't fill any human needs that we have. They fill um, manufactured needs, needs which are invented, styles which are, you know, uh, contrived on a seasonal basis just so we will go out and buy a new fashion um, and I think you're you're right that it, it it stems from our educational system which is infiltrated from the very beginning um, by these advertisements and this this mindset that we as people cannot fully express our personality unless we identify with certain brand names or what have you, um, and it's so insidious because it's uh, we don't acknowledge it as a religious belief system. Um, we think that it is the best possible system that we could live under, and that it's as David Lloyd says, we think it's secular, when really it's based on um, many unconscious beliefs, and so. I would think that the only way to get out of it then is to begin to raise children into a different cosmos, a cosmos where um, human relationship is valued rather than uh, commodities and it's no longer that the individual is raised to think that they need to um, accumulate money or accumulate um, these fake things, but instead to develop deeper relationships with others to um, make the world more hospitable and enjoyable and wholesome for generations to come. Um, you know, these are the kind of values we should be fostering, and uh, consumer capitalism values the exact opposite. It says forget about the future, just accumulate as much as you can now because you only live once. And so this focus on the individual really has um, decimated our social structure and our planet. And um, 
you know, I think we're seeing the fallout of that now. And really, as frightening as the economic situation is, it's a great opportunity uh, to transform our way of, of being on this planet among one another. And um, I'm hopeful that we'll pull through it, but I also think realistically there'll be uh, a struggle to get to the other side, and I don't think we've seen the worst of it yet, but um, yeah, thanks for uh, pointing us to this Aurora Forum, Phil. I'm going to uh, do a little more research into uh, David Loy um, and definitely pick up one of his books, so thanks for the heads up. Take it easy.